Hi, everybody. Can you see? Okay, so. Um, I've been meaning to do this particular video for a while now. I actually get this question asked all the time, no matter where I go, especially when I have all three boys. You have three children? You have three boys? How do you do it? And, and um, I'm going to go ahead and answer that question. I really don't do it all by myself. My husband helps me out a significant amount, meaning um, he works a lot. So I'm not really a morning person, and he is a super morning person. I'm more of a late night person. So in addition to me being up with a newborn all times of the night, he I'm really not a morning person. So first thing in the morning when he gets up, he gets himself dressed, and then he'll get the kids up, and he'll get them dressed, and he'll feed them breakfast. So when he's when they're by the time they're eating breakfast, he's on his way out the door to go to work. So that's when I get up, get myself dressed, get the little baby dressed, get them ready to go to school, do their hair, brush their hair, um, brush their teeth, make sure everything's packed in the bag, and I drop off at school. As soon as I come home, I take my mandatory coffee break. Go throw it in the trash. Amir, you go throw that trip bag in the trash. That was your special treat. You better go sit down. See? Now he's arguing with me. He told me that the Doritos was not a special treat. It was a snack. And he still wants a special treat, meaning he's been lobbying for a popsicle all day. I'm not listening to that right now. He's been acting ugly. But, yeah, moving on. So when I come home, I take my mandatory coffee break. And I YouTube for like an hour. And then I get up... <laughs> And if I'm still tired, I may or may not take a nap with the baby because he sleeps through the day, through the night. He's he's in and out. He's For the most part, he's a really good baby. Um, I have to wash clothes. I have to wash at least two loads a day, minimum. It's no way around it because they'll pile up on me. And as soon as I wash, I always fold. Like, if you guys can see behind me. You see that? Huh? That's popsicles? Not right now. Go sit down. Um... As you, actually, right now, you see my house disheveled because I just got my carpet clean. And I try to get my carpet clean, like shampooed every six months, at least twice a year. And then every three months, I have um, some help come in and help me. Meaning, I get, well, she, I actually could say she's kind of a maid. <laughs> well, that's her job. She's a, she has a maid cleanup service. That's what she does. And um, she comes in every three months and deep cleans the whole house. The bathtubs, the toilets, the refrigerator, the stove. Because I can't do it by myself. It's hard for me to keep up with the main day-to-day -day task. Like, when I was back to wash your clothes. When I wash your clothes, I immediately fold them and I put them in the overstock room. Like, right now I'm in the computer room. And this is where, this room is always junky. And um, I fold them, I leave them on the bed. And they may or may not get put up in the closets or in the drawers. It's just by the time I'm done folding all these loads, cooking dinner, cleaning, cooking breakfast. No, I don't even cook breakfast. I cook breakfast on the weekend, so. Um, cooking dinner, making lunch, lunches. I'm tired. I'm not trying to fold clothes, walk up and down the stairs, putting the clothes up in the closet. I'm not going to overwork myself like that. As long as they're clean. That's my motto. Me and my husband can't agree on this. As long as they're clean clothes all the time and we can find them, okay. <laughs> we get to putting them up when we can. Another thing is, um, I always find a hobby. So, like, for me, YouTube is a hobby. So, I keep myself interested. Interested. I keep myself from getting overworked, overstressed out. I try to take time out and do this because this is what makes me comfortable. This is what makes me happy. And, um, by the end of the night, y'all, at 3 o'clock, I pick them up at 3 o'clock, and it's like my day ends at 3 p.m. At 3 o'clock, it's like... Whatever you want to do for yourself is not going to happen until they go to sleep. So I pick them up. They come in. They use the bathroom. Wash your hands. They get us another snack. Then I start cooking dinner. They eat dinner around 5.30. Get down and play some more. And then 7.30, 8 o'clock. 7 o'clock, 7.30, they're being bathed. They're in the bathtub. And like 8.30, they're in the bed. If they're not asleep, they're in there looking at the ceiling or something. Because at 8.30, they're behind in the bed. I don't have time to play for them play with them. Was that by nine o'clock it's my time again to relax and watch my shows that I like to watch. Like RuPaul's drag race. I love this. I love me some RuPaul. Um, United States of Terra, Big Love, whatever's on at the time, I'm watching it. But it's for oh and the dishes. The dishes are probably get done once a day. 
and that's usually first thing in the morning when I come home because at night I rinse everything off and I'll set it to the side like there's not food or anything on it throughout the day I rinse the plates off if I'm using it I rinse it off clean and I'll, st I'll stack it neatly I don't know I'm weird about it and then I'll wash them the next day and my husband hates when I do that but it's like at 9 o'clock I'm all, I'm cleaning and cooking and dealing with small children all day the last thing I want to do at 9 o'clock at night when I'm ready to go to sleep is some dishes <laughs> And y'all may think that's nasty, whatever. I scald it with hot water, make sure the food is not on, anything is stuck on it, and then I set it to the side. Then in the morning, I come in and wash them. I put them in a dishwasher and then r rinse them with hot, with heat. I rinse them with heat, and that's it. I don't have time for that, y'all. It's just it's too exhausting. And it's like, like today, my dad threw up. Not because he's sick. It's because he was greedy, and he kept putting the grilled cheese sandwiches in his mouth and choked and gagged on it and then vomited everywhere. Or a mirror. He's learning how to clean his butt from doing number two, boo booing. And he can't get it all the way good, so I'm here scrubbing doo doo stains out the drawers. Because, <laughs> like, this is what I do every day. And it's like, if the dishes don't get done at night, fine. It's not going to kill anybody. Nobody's going to die. It's not, a ma it's not a matter of national security if the dishes don't get done at night or your clothes don't get hung up. As long as everything's clean, you should be fine. If it's a little messy or disheveled, whatever. Who cares? As long as you can find what you need to find. And that's basically it, you guys. Um, especially, oh, when I take them out. If I know, if, you can always tell if your baby has the potential to act up or get, start acting ugly. So I try to prevent that. Like, I always bring snacks. I keep a diaper, a little book bag with diapers, wipes, juice boxes, and goldfish crackers in it or raisins. Emergency kit. And I always end up using it before the month is out, so I'm always replenishing it. And I keep that in my stroller in my car at all times, no matter where I'm at. If, they, if I'm at the mall or paying bills or around running errands, and they get to acting foolish, okay, I have my snack bag. Let me pull it out. Here you go. Or I, And I also keep dum-dums, like the little dum-dum lilac pops in my purse as a special treat for them to get them to be quiet. I mean, you guys just, you just have to do what you have to do. Little kids can be bribed. <laughs> And, you know, they're wonderful, they're sweet, they're adorable, and I love my children so much. But that's basically it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.